Hey everyone, what is up? Um, it's Smithy Nock here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these amazing mods. What's number one, they're bright in all your lights and your cars and in the game. So you know, uh, change your sirens and the gun sounds in the game. Uh, and the radio tones in Discord. So you're probably going to hear them go off a little bit. The beeping is because I'm muted. You're going to hear them go off a bit while I'm showing you guys some stuff. If they don't, I'll radio in. Um, this is all client side, but I think it's going to add a lot more immersion into it. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to show you the lights real quick. So that's normal, just running lights. It's regular lights, and that's brights. Here are the lights. Of course, it's very different from stock GTA. It looks a lot nicer. It's a lot brighter. You're going to be able to see them a lot more. And then here are the sirens. Alright, and then the last thing here, I didn't do it yet, sorry, there are the gun. One about the 55, show me 10 sex property check, welcome Bell. <laughs> So, as you all can see and hear, that is all the mods. I hope all of you are going to like this. And just about two seconds here, we're going to switch on over to my uh, main desktop where I'm going to show you guys how to do all this. So, sit tight. Hi, everyone. Here we are now. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install all the client side mods. So of course you're gonna come into our Discord, you're gonna look for client size mod, it's gonna be mods. And all the stuff is gonna be here. I'm gonna walk you through each one. So the first one we're gonna do is the better visuals mod. So you're gonna click on that link, wait for it to load. And you're gonna to download this file to one. You're going to click OK, extract the files. Now you need to open 5M. So this is the easiest way to do it. So you're going to go down your bottom left. You're going to go where it says type here to search. You're going to put 5M. You're going to right click on 5M and open file location. Then you're going to right click again. Open file location. You're going to go to application data. Citizen. Common data you can see all this okay so you can mess around with this and see which one you like the best I recommend bright so then you're going to go to your files better visuals mod settings and there's a blinding bright and dim I recommend bright so you're gonna double click on bright and then you're gonna see virtual settings dot dat you're gonna bring it in here drag and drop it of course I'm just replacing it but it should just drag and drop right into here and you're done you're done with the whole, excuse me, better visuals. So you're going to close on that, and you're going to close on that. Next, you're going to do the sirens. So you're going to click on this. You're going to go take them directly to mine. Hopefully, it should open like this. You guys might need to do something a little different. Here, actually, let me sign out. And then do that for you again. See how it comes up. You're going to click download, download anyway, and click OK. It's going to open this. So that's how it should work for you guys um, instead of seeing my site. You're going to have this open. Okay, double click on that, and you're going to double click on 5M version. You're going to get this resident. Okay. So to get there, you need to open up your GTA 5 directory folder. So you're gonna go to your your folders. You're gonna go to storage. Now this is how you guys would do it. Mine's a little different. 
but you're going to want to click on Steam, go all around the Steam apps, common, and then your, your games will be in here. But mine's a little moved around. So you got to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, common, of course, and then this will open. You're going to find GTA 5. You go to X64. You go to Audio, SFX. You're going to drag and drop this. Okay, you're going to drag and drop the resident.rf into there. You're going to replace the file in the destination. Boom. There goes your stairs, should be your sirens and whatnot. You're going to close out of that and you're going to close out of that. Okay. All right, hey guys, really quick. Um, I'm going to pause it really here for you guys because from this point forward, if you're not LEO, EMT, or fire department, or military, um, you don't need this. So uh, basically, the site, light, sight, uh, sirens and lights are going to be better now, and the gun sounds and everything in game. If you want this, go ahead, but I don't recommend it if you're going to be talking to SIV channels because you're going to sound like you're talking on the radio and all the, the beeps and everything. So from this point forward, is uh, just for the LEO, the EMS, and I did really just for all the EMS. So. Okay, two down, two to go. Now we're going to do the TeamSpeak stuff, which is super easy to do because it does it automatically. So you're going to click on the first one for the audio FX. You're going to click download. Open with TeamSpeak 3 package installer. Click OK. Click, click install and follow all the instructions and whatnot. Okay, and then Radio FX will be in there, and I'll of course get to that in a minute. You got one more thing to do. So once that's done, you're going for to get your tones. Now this is for the, the tones. So it's to go over this up here. It's for the lights. This one here is for the sirens. This one here is for the FX, make it actually sound like police radio. And this one here is for the beeping tones. Uh, you guys don't need to do all of them. Again, I highly, highly recommend to do every single one of these because it's just an immersion. Um, one thing I do recommend when you guys actually get in-game, you're going to want to turn up or turn down in-game stuff and turn up Discord or turn up TeamSpeak as it makes things a little quieter, but mess with your audio settings a little bit and you'll find the perfect amount. Anyways, so you're going to go to this mega file. Wait for it to load. You're going to click Download. Download it for Mega. Now I have a I have a an account with them, so it's gonna come up as this, and then so when you guys do it, it should just ba basically you should open your WinRAR and whatnot. So you're gonna do my clicks. You're gonna have these three files. Okay, before we do anything with those, minimize about everything else. You're gonna go here, put team in, bottom left, type team. I just open TeamSpeak. It's not what I wanted. You go TM. You're going to right click on it. Open file location. You're going to right click on it again. Open file location. Scroll all the way up. You're going to see sound. Default. You're going to take these three guys. And drag and drop them into here. And replace every file and destination. Destination. I'm trying to do this a little fast so once that's all done we should be good to go so let me make sure audio should go through game I hope open team speak up my check Okay. Now everything should be working. I don't know if you get on your side or not, but if there's any issues, please come to Expecting Hawk, um, and then I will help you guys. So uh, again, just DM me if it's not working for you, um, and I will fix it, and we'll see what you did wrong. But otherwise, after doing all that, you should build in game, and everything should work. So good luck, and I hope uh, this helped. All right, guys. Sorry, sorry, dumbass. You forgot. Should I do something? So, once everything is all done, you want to go to plugins, go to your crosstalk. Sorry, go to your radio FX. Click on it. Pause the video now. Open that. You don't need whisper or other. You just need everything in home. 
So do all these numbers exactly how I have them. So pause now, do your thing. Okay, when that's done, it should sound like it. Now the very last thing you do is go to your tools, go to options, and you're gonna go on playback. The very bottom here, always set client 3D positions with all available. Own client plays, mic clicks, other client plays, mic clicks. All of these need to be checkmarked. Click apply and click okay, and you're all good to go.